Hey, I'm Michael B2 Lighting Effects. I've been asked quite a few times whether you can use dry ice versus regular ice in the Mr. Cool uh, Ground Fogger by American DJ or whether it really doesn't matter or if one's better or one is worse. We're going to find out right now. Plus, I've been asked, do you have to buy that Cool Fog, which is right here. I've been asked, do you have to buy the Cool Fog to use with the Ground Fogger or can you use any kind of uh, fog juice on it? We're going to find out. Follow me. So we got our Mr. Cool here. It's all plugged in, ready to go. We got our Cool Fog, our Code 6. I love this stuff. If you want some really good fog fluid for your fog machine, go for this. This stuff is amazing. Anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about. Then we got a bag of regular ice that you buy at any store or in your freezer. And then we got a bag here of dry ice. And the dry ice we know that that makes a good ground fog, but we'll see if it works with this. So, let's take this thing and we'll put this on the floor. Since it's a ground fogger, get it on the floor? Yeah, okay, fine. Put this down here. I'm getting a little hung up on cords here. There we go. Got a lot of cords here. Okay, so, if you'll take a look in there, that's our bin to put the ice or the dry ice. And we're going to start with, we're going to start with regular ice. Here we go. You just throw the ice in this container here. That's all there is to it. Shut that down. Close the lid. And there's a thing here. By the way, I just realized this today. This has actually got some good thick insulation on it to keep the ice frozen for a while while the uh, fog goes through it. Okay, we got that. So, let's start. <laughs> Come on, close. Okay, let's fill up our fog thing first. Let's go with the cool fog from American DJ. This is the stuff that supposedly is being recommended for the machine. I'll pour some of that in here. Regular ice along with the American DJ cool fog. One thing I did notice, when you first trigger this, uh, when you first fill it up and you trigger the machine, it does make that little noise in the beginning, and then it just, all you hear is this little hissing sound as, the, as it goes through the ice. Look at that, that's working pretty good. Okay, we got the ice freshened up. I pumped out the uh, cool fog so that we could get it all cleaned out, and I put in the code six, freshen up the ice. Now, tighten this down. Let's see what we got using code six as a ground fogger. Again, this is using regular ice, code six. I'm gonna say the cool fog works better than the code six. Now we're gonna empty the ice out and we're going to start with the code six using some dry ice. Let's see how that works. Throw that in there. Oh, she's already cranking some smoke, isn't she? Okay. Good. Throw that in there. This is the code six with dry ice. Huh. That's pretty. I like it. Yeah, that looks great. That's hugging the ground. Wow. All right, I think, <laughs> I think we have totally come up with a uh, conclusion on that one. Code six with dry ice works great. Now, better than ice, now let's try the cool fog from American DJ with the dry ice and see how that performs. All right, I just filled it up with cool fog. Again, we got dry ice in there. Let's see how she, see how she performs cool fog and dry ice. Here we go. Tremendous. Cool fog is the way to go. Staying low. Look at that. Okay, so I would say 
to answer your questions, can you use dry ice with the Mr. Cool? Yes, you can use dry ice. And if you can afford to go the dry ice route, hey, by all means, go for it. I think it works better than ice. And use this stuff right here. Use the cool fog instead of <laughs> instead of my coffee. That'll do a lot of good. Instead of the regular fog fluid, if you want some amazing fog fluid for a regular fog machine and you want to totally fog up your house, a room, conventional hall, whatever you want, this is definitely the stuff you to use in your regular fog machine. Same stuff that they use on ships, believe it or not. Like for the Navy, to smoke them up for smoke training practices. <laughs>